to explain about the, uh, the like FCIP as well as the FCOE topics from the module 2. Uh, the FCIP okay, which stands for fiber channel internet protocol as well as the fiber channel over the ethernet okay and this video okay i am going to completing the fcip protocol stack as well as the fcoe components okay these two topics so i am going to uh, like uh, cover this video under the fcip as well as the fcoe topics then first of all what is the fcip uh, like what it will be uh, okay what it will be do for FCIP MS that fiber channel internet protocol okay basically it should be a IP based protocol that can be used to connect the various uh, like various distributed fiber channel storage area networks is land and it is also creates the virtual fiber channel links okay over the existing internet uh, like protocol networks that is used to transport the fiber channel data between the different fiber channel storage area networks and it is also encapsulate the uh, like uh, what is that a fiber channel pack uh, fiber channel frames that can be uh, like uh, means encapsulated into the IP based packets means internet protocol packets and uh, like this fiber channel internet protocol we are going to use for the disaster recovery method also. So, this is the complete information about the fiber channel internet protocol. Then next I will move on to the topic is the fiber channel protocol stack. See the fiber channel protocol stack basically they are going to uh, like consisting of the total 7 layers and this is also segregated into 2 parts the one is FC frames other one is FC2 uh, like IP encapsulations part. And the FC frames, okay, the first, uh, the starting three parts, okay, means the starting three protocols, they are going to belongs to the FC frames, that is applications, CSI commands, uh, then also the CSI data as well as status, then uh, like FC, means fiber channel protocol, uh, like CSI over the fiber channel, okay, these two layers, they are going to belongs to the, or they are going to part of the fiber channel frames, and like the, the remaining, that uh, like all like uh, four layers, okay, the below four layers, that is fiber channel internet protocol, then TCP IP protocol, that is transmission control protocol, internet protocol, so these three, like the, the remaining three, okay, they are going to belongs to the FC2 IP encapsulations part. So, we will see one by one, okay, what like each and every layer they are going to perform the operations in the FCIP protocol stack. The first one is the first important layer that is applications layer. The application layer they are going to generate the SESI comments. The SESI comments which is nothing but simple computer system internet comments, okay. The like uh, the simple computer system interface comments which is nothing but we have to execute, we have to like uh, discover um, then like uh, segments, okay. These all are the different uh, uh, like comments they are going to use for the SESI comments, okay. And also the data, okay, which are processed by various layers of the protocol stack, okay, that will be comes under the our application protocol. Then the next one is SESI comments as well as the data, then the status of the SESI uh, like comments, okay. Then like it is the one of the upper protocol, okay, of the SESI, okay. They are going to include the different SESI drivers programs to execute the uh, read and write operations, okay. I mean that, uh, that uh, what is that, the read and write commands, okay, in that particular layer. And the like the next one is FCP uh, like over the SESI fiber channel months uh, like this layer what it will do months okay this layer they are going to use for the FC uh, like fiber channel protocol layer okay which is simply uh, like uh, like they are going like sorry which is very simple for the fiber the fiber uh, channel frames okay whose payload is uh, SESI means the payload that should be is the simple computer internet system and the next one is FCIP that is like this FCP um, layer they are going to rate uh, like uh, they are going to rate the uh, 
uh, on top of the fiber channel transport layer they are going to enables the fc frames to run within the storage area and environment and also this frames can be encapsulated into the internet protocol packet that can be sent to the remote storage area network over the internet protocol so this is about the fcip then the next one is uh, see the next one is fcip layer they are going to encapsulate the fiber channel frames okay into the internet uh, protocol payload as well as the they are going to passes the data uh, to the tcp ip layer after that the tcp has well tcp ip uh, they are going to use that particular data to transporting as well as the encapsulating that informations across the ethernet wireless okay or or it may be they are going to use for the other physical media to support the tcp ip traffic sir. and then the next one is uh, like what is the uh, encapsulations of the fc frame okay the fc uh, frame the encapsulations okay which is nothing but here like uh, the ip packets okay they are, they could cause any uh, what is that uh, uh, like means the fc frame okay into the ip packet it could cause the ip packet to be fragmented or segment like uh, or it may be a segmented when the data link cannot be support to the maximum transmission unit that is mti size of the internet packet okay means like when the, the maximum size of the uh, like a packet that is not reach out the that particular uh, transmission limit okay during that time they are going to encapsulate the or they are going to binding the fc frame to the ip packet see this is what the fc ip then the ip uh, that is uh, sorry uh, that the tcp ip package they it is going to segmented uh, uh, to the uh, like uh, various operations as well as the responsible to receiving as well as the resequencing the data based on the priority wise they are going to passing or they are going to transferring the data to the uh, fiber channel uh, devices so this is about the all the layers okay what uh, like they are going to perform the